This video was obtained by the Association for the Protection of Fur-Bearing Animals and depicts animals suffering on fur farms across Canada. What you're seeing are glimpses into the industry and what are the norms. Animals confined in tiny cages, animals living in their own excrement, filthy conditions and runoff making its way into our watersheds. Animals also suffer from psychological damage and their repetitive behaviors indicate stress and suffering. Fur trim, which we are seeing more and more, unfortunately, in fashion, is the product of absolute suffering for animals. And this is happening right here in our own backyard in Canada and across North America. 85% of the animals that are killed solely for their fur are raised on fur farms. Mink on fur farms generally live um, in cages that are about the size of two sheets of paper. They are also semi-aquatic animals. And in fur farms, they never have access to water to swim and so what this leads to is really all sorts of psychological and physiological suffering for these animals. And it's quite hard to really describe without seeing it um, and without understanding the realities of the odors and the sounds and the horrors that these animals experience. Foxes, the situation is very similar. Foxes spend their entire lives on wire flooring, never being able to properly and normally interact with other animals of their kind. They don't get to hunt and dig and feel green grass on their feet. In order not to damage their pelts, foxes are anally electrocuted and minks are gassed to death. And this is a legal practice throughout North America. Trapped, hunted, and fur farmed animals in the US are exempt from the two pieces of federal legislation that deal with humane slaughter and humane care of animals. In Canada, the criminal code is not preventative. It only deals with cruelty once it's occurred, and it's very difficult to enforce. The reality is that there really is very little in the way of legislation that has any protection for these animals whatsoever. Fur farms can be described as basically like a factory. They're intensive um, units comprised usually of long steel sheds and it is an industry that is to maximize profit. These types of industries are very close to home and they're just outside of our urban centers. Fur is predominantly found on trim, um, trims on the hoods of, of collars, cuffs, cell phone cases, handbags, earrings, even uh, eyelash extensions and makeup brushes can be made from, from mink fur. So we're seeing all kinds of sneaky ways that fur is, is being sold, so it's buyer beware. Fur is a luxury item that nobody needs. We can stop fur farms by choosing not to wear fur. To take action on the fur issue, learn as much as you can about this industry and you can go to websites like makefurhistory.com. Learn more about your state and provincial laws and get involved with politicians and voice your opposition to this type of cruelty. We can win this, we can stop the suffering of millions of animals across North America by simply saying no to fur and making fur history. We can stand together. We can protect these animals. We can make fur history.